Hello, this is Laura with Mail Media. Email is one of the most important tools in communication. Unlike chatting, emails take a while to get a reply, so it's less likely for you to be able to gauge what the receiver is thinking. You need to give yourself every chance to succeed in getting your point across. So today I'm going to share 10 tips on how to better write emails and make sure your emails don't end up in the spam folder when using Mail Media. All right. The first tip is to use a professional email address and signature. Business emails should come from a professional email address. The Hotmail username you made in high school just won't cut it when you're writing uh, professional emails to potential clients or colleagues. So stick to using your name or some variation of your initials. And don't forget to give your account a profile picture. People tend to give importance to a person while communicating. Um, over to let's say an avatar. Another best practice is to include a signature at the end of your email with more information. Don't over customize it, just mention your role and your company or more information about the business using links to a website or social media. No need to include emojis or inspirational quotes. Second tip, be specific with your subject line. Of course, before you get worried about the content, you should first think of a good subject for your email because that's the first thing that the recipient is going to see. Make sure that you only put specific keywords on the subject area and don't make it too vague. Third tip, make your content clear and concise. Most people are not fond of reading long messages, so if you send them one that contains two long paragraphs, chances are they'll just skim it or ignore it. So when you write emails, get straight to the point and specify all the important details. If you have to write a lengthy email, then make a list using bullet points. It's straightforward, it's easy to read, and it just makes it way simpler for the reader to understand what you're trying to say. Fourth tip, avoid using exclamation marks. It might be tempting to throw in an exclamation point or maybe 10 to replace facial expressions, but it can make your email seem too conversational or friendly when we're talking business. So ask yourself, does an exclamation point really improve the quality of my message? If not, remove it. Same thing goes with the use of emojis. You should avoid using emoticons or abbreviations in emails because they may be misunderstood and can be seen as unprofessional in most settings. Tip number five, be assertive. Be confident in your opinion. I think and I feel, well, they're just no-goes. Replace I think with why don't we or it would be best if. Give the person room to disagree but be assertive with your beliefs and thoughts. Don't say sorry too often. Instead of apologising for a late reply or an oversight, well, edit your message to say, thank you for your patience, or I appreciate you bringing this to my attention. This type of language shows that you recognise the inconvenience caused, but you still show that you're in charge. Another thing, when, for instance, scheduling a meeting, state your availability up front. Simply say, I am available at ABC, instead of asking when the other person is free. Not only does it show assertiveness, but it also speeds up communication and decreases the number of emails going back and forth between you. So now you know how to email like a boss. Now let's say you want to use Malmetia to send um, personalised bulk emails. You're going to have to apply other tips and that's what we're going to be discussing in the second section of our video. So tip number six is to warm up your email account. If your Gmail account is new or if you haven't sent a lot of emails recently, we recommend sending emails to a small list of recipients at first, so 20 to 50 for instance. Focus on open rates and engagement. As time goes on and results go up, Start to grow your list as you go. Slowly increase your sending volume over time. Tip number seven, collect responses and reply back. 
The first email you send for your mail merge, using Mailmetia for instance, should be entirely focused on getting as much engagement as you can. This will really help you for later campaigns. Tip number eight. When you're sending emails in bulk, it is best practice to personalise your emails. This will dramatically improve your results by tailoring your message to specific audience. So make some research about the people you're writing to in order to better target your audience. Try using it to further personalise your emails. For example, we recommend personalising the subject line. So you can do that by adding a variable. If you want to learn more about how to send uh, personalised emails with Mailmetia, you can find it in another video. Tip number nine, proofread before sending. Mistakes can happen, although we do our best not to make them. So make sure you check everything one last time before you hit the send button. This show your professionalism and attention to detail. A small grammatical error may not seem like a big deal, but it can be a major red flag to a client or colleague. Last tip. For large campaigns, try sending messages to one group of recipients. Wait 24 hours and then send to another group. Stagger mass communications over several days. You can use Mailmetia's autopilot feature. When you're about to send your campaign, instead of sending your email straight away, just click on the arrow and select autopilot. This feature is going to allow you to stagger your emails and there's going to be space and then less chance for these messages to end up in the spam folder. That's it for us. I hope these tips gave you the confidence to start emailing like a boss. You can find out more on Mailmetia by clicking the link available in the description. We've also dedicated an entire page with other tutorials to help you navigate Gmail, G Slides and use Mailmetia. Bye.